welcome back guys in the course in this lecture we will talk about sessions in PHP sessions are very important and useful in PHP and sessions are used to actually create a session for users or for logged in you know for logged in visitors or anything so we can save their time of uh, uh, you know uh, browsing the website and when they go or leave our website so we can expire basically their session so same like you go to Facebook you log in you check your account and then you come and you know you log out from your account so that's mean you are actually using sessions which are set by Facebook for you so whenever you log out so after that you cannot access your profile or your timeline without login your details without entering your detail sessions are very useful in PHP uh, you know I have created a page sessions.php a copy of the same previous page and that form is form.html page is included here you know include we have used that so we'll keep that form here and we will work in this form for sessions as well so the first thing is first when I said sessions you know so we actually have to when we are using sessions first of all we have to start session on the top of the page so we don't need to start the session here on this page the reason is because this is already been included here on this so we can start the session here just above before starting the HTML tag you have to add PHP tag and then session underscore start and two parentheses this is the function basically so whenever you are actually you know using in sessions you have to use three steps you know the first one is to start the session on the page where you want to use sessions now in the next step you have to register a session and in the third step you can display that session so basically we have started the session here now this is the same page because we have included it here already now I want to make this email as session so for example I will say when the person has clicked this submit button so just get all the values using get method and save them in these variables now in the next step I want to say dollar underscore session so this is basically global variable or super global array and I say I will say the URL I mean the here we have email as that and we will make it equal to this email variable what we are saying basically we said a session will start and the session will be for the email the specific value which is email so we are saving or making the email as session we are registering it we can register all of the values but just for now keep this one so I will say echo and we can also save this in a variable session is equal to session like that okay now I will say echo welcome dot session control us to say now come here refresh the page and you see uh, unexpected error here uh, on line 18 we have got an error what is that Oh, sorry we don't need to add this equal sign here remove that okay save again come here now when I say Abdul Wali my name and my email and my password submit it says welcome aw at gmail.com so the session has been actually created now this user can this we can actually log in or we can allow this user which we have saved in the session we can allow it to view the page and to browse the page or the whole website or whatever 
uh, until we destroy his session and we destroy the session on a moment you know when a in a moment when we want the user uh, to destroy his session for example on the logout button at a point I mean any at any point we can destroy the session so when the person clicks that they again now once again this session has been activated with this now if I want to destroy the session then I will say here I will say echo ahrab I mean a link I will say sessions.php the same page and I will create a, a URL variable a get variable which will be logout now I will say logout this is just a link you can see here the person is entering his name or email submit they say welcome this email this user and uh, if you he or she wants to log out then they can click this when they click that we will destroy his or her session how we'll say if a set dollar underscore get log out if that is clicked or active in the browser then in these two curly brackets in the expression we will say destroy underscore session this is another function destroys underscore session control s just click logout destroy session we already have started the session here yes session has already been started there uh, we will say echo uh, session dot php Control is to save and now come here, refresh. Okay, it's not working here, but I will actually tell you this uh, about this session destroy in a project later on when we will be creating the user registration form. So, there we will use uh, sessions more, I mean, the details and in practical environment. You, get, you will learn more about this but once again in summary I will tell you that sessions are very important uh, you know very important function to use in PHP and you guys can first start the session like I did here on the top of the page before starting the HTML tag and then you will have to register the session I mean like I have registered a session here and that is email basically so now after that when you have registered this you can display it or you can use it where, wherever you want and at the end point you can destroy the session anywhere you want so we will also learn that in the projects but in the next video we'll talk about cookies in PHP stay tuned